morning, everyone. And welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, and as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind the fact that, yes, we are sinners, but God's grace, His forgiveness, His mercy is greater than any sin that we could ever uh, disappoint Him with. So let us seek his forgiveness in our hearts. Lord, you are the way. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you are the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you are the... Uh, you are the hope of us all. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amidst the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true happiness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery. Working night and day in order not to burden any of you, we proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and so is God, how devoutly and justly and blamelessly we behave toward you believers. As you know, we treated each one of you as a father treats his children exhorting and encouraging you and insisting that you walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God, which now <clears throat> is at work in you who believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. You have searched you and you know me, Lord. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the furthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me and your right hand hold me fast. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. If I say, surely the darkness shall hide me and night shall be my light, for you darkness itself is not dark and night shines as the day. And you know me, Lord. keeps the word of God, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. 
You're like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead man's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous, and you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophets' blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out, the gospel of the Lord. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. I hope when the Lord searches each of us, he finds something different than he found in the scribes and the Pharisees and the priests of the Jewish religion. He found them to be hypocrites. And hypocrisy is, um, comes from the origin of a Greek word, and it's used on stage, where an actor takes on the role of somebody else in the play. So the actor is not the character of the role of the person, but the actor is a different person altogether. The role that they play is different. They may play somebody good. They may play somebody bad. They may play this, that, or whatever. But there's a distinction between the actual reality of the person, of the actor, and the role they are to play. And that was known as hypocrisy. Jesus is saying, with religion, the Pharisees and scribes, Sadducees and the scribes and, the, and um, everybody else and the priests have taken on the role of holy and pious people. But when you look at them, as the Lord has searched them out, as he searches us as well, as we just said in the responsorial psalm, when he searched them out, he found that their character wasn't much different than the role. They were, well, the role was, they were much different than the role they were playing. They were playing, playing the role of being pious and holy and, and um, you know, one with the Lord and living their thoughts, words, and actions. But the reality of their own personhoods was different. Jesus could see through the characterization and the roles to the reality of who they really were. What did he call them besides hypocrites? You know, you are, you, you, you people are, you know, you're like whitewashed tombs. You know, you appear to be beautiful and glorious on the outside. But inside, you're filled with rapaciousness and evil and so on. So you do not live what you profess to be. Let's put it that way. They did not live in their own personal lives, though they thought they did, what they professed to be. And they prevented other people from living the true life of a good Jew by as we mentioned earlier in the week, by presenting all of these various prescriptions and little laws that they had to exactly and scrupulously observe to please God or to obtain eternal life. And we have to ask the question in this situation, are we hypocrites? Is Father Gallardo a hypocrite? 
any of us in the church today, are we hypocrites? Are we saying, oh yeah, look at pious, holy, uh, wonderful. Are we sinners? Yes, we are. You know, we're, we're all hypocrites, my friends, in the, in the sight of God, but loved hypocrites. The Pharisees and Sadducees were not loved hypocrites. Jesus, because they knew exactly what they were doing. We, because of our faults and failings and, you know, because of our weaknesses, perhaps do offend the Lord. But we don't mean it. Really don't mean it. So the Lord looks at us. He uh, searches our souls, our spirits. And he knows us better than we know ourselves. So let's ask the Lord today that we may be on the avenue of St. Paul and his disciples in that first reading today, who told us you know, how to live the Christian life. Now, how to, sometimes it is a struggle to live the Christian life, to be good amidst the certainty of the society in which we live. So today then, let us pray by the word of God, by the Eucharist we receive at this Mass, we will be pleasing in the sight of God, that he will be pleased with us. We're not perfect, and sometimes we are indeed hypocrites, but we love God, and we know that he loves us even more. Let us pray by word of Eucharist, that we may continue to imitate Christ in all that we think, and all that we say, and all that we do. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, knowing that he hears and answers all of our prayers. For Pope Francis, Bishop Bambera, and all clergy, that their wisdom and witness may guide the faithful to lives of greater holiness and service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may act to alleviate the suffering of those affected by devastation, war, and poverty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially George Legan, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may see and love in us what he sees and loves in his Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's ask our Blessed Mother to accompany our journey through life. Hail Mary, full of grace, full of grace. the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, to share in our humanity. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands, and made it will become for us the bread of life. And blessed you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my hearts, cleanse me from my sins. Let us stand and pray. 
front of the Lord who sees us and knows us, that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Glory of his name, our good and all his holy. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once and for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as though your beloved Son, you, or through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right for all of your creatures to serve you, all of the redeemed to praise you, all of your saints to be of one heart, bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels in their joyful celebration as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Our angry Lord, you are indeed holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and after building into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we are gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted spouse, St. Paul, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with integrity, as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days in your mercy. Keep us free from sin. And protect us from all distress and hypocrisy as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave and my peace I give you. 
not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with all of you this morning. Let us share a sign of that peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we this morning who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the earth is replete with the fruits of your work, O Lord. You bring forth bread from the earth and wine to cheer the heart. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in his peace and in his love. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day today.